So if there's one thing the last few games are telling us, it is that stories of the demise of MS Dhoni have been greatly exaggerated. I must admit I was among those myself. I was worried that he wasn't finishing games the same way, but more than anything else, I was worried about how he would fit into a side that he'd been captain of for so long. When you've been captain of a side for very long, you take a lot of the little things for granted, then not to be captain of the same side is not very easy. So as a batsman, as a, as a captain, we were worried about where Dhoni was going. Let's examine both then. Dhoni is still part of finishes. Dhoni is still part of run chases, even if Dhoni is not that dramatic finisher himself. And that is why I made the point a little while ago that Dhoni is no longer the destroyer, but Dhoni is the pillar of the side. And look how the run chases or the finishes have been paced the same way, even if somebody else is doing it. And what we are seeing now is that Dhoni's experience is rubbing off on the expertise of the younger players. Some days it's Kedar Jadav, some days it's Rohit Sharma, some days it's Hardik Pandya, some days it's Bhuvneshwar Kumar, and they're all starting to grow as batsmen alongside MS Dhoni. So his, his batting average is very healthy. Overall, his, his strike rate is still pretty healthy. And if there is a sudden fall of wickets, like we saw in Palikeli, 22 for six all of a sudden, there he is, calm, the circuit breaker. You look at the other end and you think there's life left in this game. And so Dhoni is changing his role, but he's changing it beautifully. He's still around, but he's ensuring someone else plays that role. And as it turns out, it's symbiotic. Because somebody else is playing that role, Dhoni is now free to be the pillar rather than the destroyer. And that speaks volumes about the way this team is going and the respect they have for each other. So Dhoni, the batsman, still doing perfectly fine. What about Dhoni, the captain, as he used to be? That is fascinating. Because several times in commentary, I actually turn up the stump mic because I'm very keen to hear what Dhoni say. And it's almost like there's a tutorial going on, especially when the spinners come on. If you remember, Dhoni, as a leader, was at his best when the spinners were on. He, he just loved, whether it's Ashwin and Jadeja or whoever it was, Dhoni was a magnificent captain of spin bowling. And now you've got Chehel, you've got Akshar Patel, you've got Kuldeep Yadav, young bowlers. They're looking at Dhoni all the time and there's a constant commentary going on. That's why I said on air that when Dhoni comes along, we're actually four commentators, not three, because he's talking as well. And you, you see the setup of Maxwell asking him to go wide. Sometimes he'll suddenly he'll tell Kuldeep Yadav, yeah, Sometimes it's a marega, short marega. He's literally telling them what to bowl. And so if you remember when Kuldeep Yadav was asked, how did you choose to bowl that ball for the for the hat trick ball? He said, Man, MS se pucha. And of course, Dhoni said, You bowl what comes most most easily to you. So Dhoni, the captain, is in many ways. Even if he's not the captain, still the leader of the side. Frequently, he's making changes. I mean, sometimes you look at Dhoni and look at Kohli, but Dhoni's actually made the change himself. What it has done is it's taken a lot of burden off Kohli. Sometimes when that happens, uh, the captain might turn around and say, listen, it's no longer your team, it's mine now. But the relationship between Kohli and Dhoni is evolving so beautifully that it almost does, doesn't seem to matter to Kohli that Dhoni is running the fielding uh, for a large part of the game. But it's also doing one other thing. In one of India's finest fielders in the deep, in the end overs, is actually Virat Kohli. Now, can you imagine capturing the side from long on? or from a sort of very wide long gone or a deep mid wicket. It's almost impossible to captain the side from there. What is happening is because Dhoni is controlling the play, Kohli is able to go and field in the bound, at, at the boundary. And so India are winning on both counts. And the reason India are winning on both counts is the enormous amount of respect these two have for each other. I was watching them in the huddle recently and there was Kohli all fire and brimstone and emotion and he was, he was firing away and there was Dhoni calm as usual. That was Kohli's moment. Dhoni was not going to take that moment. That was the captain's moment and it was now Kohli's team. But you get out there in the middle and then it suddenly it becomes a little bit of Kohli's team, a little bit of Dhoni's team. Watch what happens when there is a DRS situation. All eyes are straight away on Dhoni. In fact, the other day, the captain actually, one of the commentators actually told me, he said, oh, I don't think that's, that's a good LBW shout. And then suddenly Dhoni asked for a review and he said, oh, that means it must be good. So Dhoni is contributing in many ways and of course there are the stumpings. I once called him the fastest hands in the East and age and experience has not dulled his speed at all. Those hands are still quicksilver. Occasionally a ball is going down the leg side, you'd expect that. 
but Dhoni close to the stumps is just magnificent. He's still those those little exotic back flaps onto the stump are still on. He's still telling the fielders where they should be. So Dhoni, the wicket keeper, has not diminished one bit, and that is the added factor. He's probably still the best limited overs keeper around. And I'm just enjoying the way that Dhoni has moved on from being leader to almost becoming the senior statesman, almost the pitama of the side, as if to say, look, I'm around, all you guys go out and play. And by letting the youngsters have their moment, by letting the youngsters grow, Dhoni is actually growing in stature. Now, I don't know how long this will last. I hope it goes on forever, but it's looking a very, very good bet now that when India go to England in 2019, Dhoni will be there at number five.